welcome back. We are now going to talk about our sunset and sunrise sky colours. I haven't got a set of rules that I follow to always use because they they are unique to where you are in the world. They are the colours of, of a sunset or a sun, sunrise depend on the weather, the time of year. Um, there's, there's too many factors. So what I would recommend is taking lots of photographs and just being observant. You, you can only learn from watching what happens in your skies, in your area, but the recommendations I have for you are just about how to use colours. Um, so today I'm just going to go through my favourite colours. So one of my favourite colours for sunsets and sunrises is, it's called Burnt Carmine. It's a Derwent colour. You'll find it matches um, the Derwent pencil. This colour is a really, really um, soft but desaturated burgundy sort of colour. And it works well going in with a bit of reds or oranges. It goes well with magenta. So it's just, um, I like it because it's desaturated as well. So if you don't have this colour, what could we do? Well, let's go to our closest primary, which would be magenta. Now, because it's desaturated and it's dulled down, the quickest way to desaturate a colour is to add its opposite. But in this, I'm going to just try something in this because I like how warm it is. So um, what I'm going to do, I won't do it there. I'll add a bit of burnt sienna. So I'm going to add a bit of burnt sienna. That's all already looking hopeful in the palette, but it's also looking still too pretty. So what I might add is a little bit of Payne's Grey. It's a little bit too purplish, but ooh, I quite like that. So if I keep adding the other two colours back in, burnt sienna and magenta, there. I'm getting a colour that's quite close now. So just remember all the colours you need can come out of your three primaries but if you have those basics and I've done videos on this before ultramarine blue, burnt sienna and magenta is a magic trio of colours so even with skies if you have to mix colours. So what I want to start with that's a pre-mixed colour burnt carmine. I, I definitely add in magenta to my sky list my sunset and sunrise sky list i use it a lot because i love the vibrance of it but also because it blends well with a warm red for all those stronger skies and then instead of going straight into a very very bright yellow i go to a yellow ochre which, yes, it is a bit of a murky colour, but when I'm doing my skies, I prefer to have a subtlety there. Um, unless it's just purely a sky painting, you, you must try to remember that unless it's only a sky painting, which for me it's not, I've usually got ocean or something else in it, um, but unless it's a sky painting, sky is an accessory. So you do want to calm down those colours a little bit. I still want vibrance in there, that's sort of my my style um, but you can see here how dominant that would be that's very heavy obviously if I wet that down and fade it down then you can actually see how subtle that sky might be and here I've got the same colors but they're they're reversed but they're extremely faded down and then I've gone up into some Payne's Grey so I do use Payne's Grey in my skies as well and you'll see here it's a lovely add-on to any sort of um, cloud or just say here I wanted to put a bit of cloud in silhouette. Because it has a blue base it goes very well into your magentas and the burnt carmines and even your reds. Um, the only colour I would be very subtle with is going putting your paints grey directly over a, a yellow sky and that's purely because yellow and blue make green so you want to be careful make sure your yellow is totally dry 
uh, before you do that. But yeah, Payne's Grey would be my my go to um, for darker cloud on these darker sky areas. And then if I'm still showing, say, a morning sky, and I want to show a cloud, a big cloud, that's um, when the sun is just rising. My go-to for a big white fluffy cloud is still my French ultramarine, but I actually add in purple. And I find that, especially against the yellow, they are opposites, but if you put purple near the yellow of the sky, it gives you a beautiful reaction and it's just that little bit gentler than putting just pure straight ultramarine blue in there. I'll start off with the ultramarine but I just tend to add in some some purple along the track. That's about it for me, that's my palette. I don't go too heavy on the really warm warm colours. Uh, it doesn't go with my oceans so I tend to stick with the less severe and then maybe burnt sienna for your clouds. And as I get up here, I would go perhaps ultramarine. So my favourite colours for painting skies, sunrise and sunsets, and I hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you, everyone.